All right. Today, I've got another oldie for you. This one, not quite as old as some of my others, but it's now a thing of the past. Today's video is on a one-time restaurant called Baje Kubo. This was in Bourbonne, Illinois. Now, this restaurant lasted from around December of 2006 going to around February of 2012. So just barely over five years. But during this five-year time, this restaurant was quite an enjoyable little establishment for what it was. I, the Paul Storian, your host, is inviting you to have a look around this ancient restaurant from yesteryear. <laughs> Maybe it's not that ancient. It's 2021 after all, so a little while back in the past. But this became one of Lisa's favorite restaurants, local restaurants in town in this in the Bourbonnais area. Uh, what was nice about it was it was a Filipino cuisine, which was pretty much new to the area. There were a few Filipino residents coming into the area during that time, and uh, this was a... Uh, just a, a nice establishment to have that type of food. Now, when we would go, uh, we would always get, because the variety, for one thing, and because the all-you-can-eat factor, for my thing, <laughs> I love the all-you-can-eat, we would get the buffet. They had a menu you could order off of, but the buffet had a bunch of things on it that you could get. Now, this this was not a huge buffet like you used to see it. This was... <laughs> A very, very small buffet. But man, was it good. Uh, the owner, Arnold Rojo, and his wife, Arlene, were uh, in the restaurant. They were always there. They were frequently talking to the, the customers. Uh, and they were just so friendly, nice, friendly people. And uh, what you're going to see here, I'm going to bring up a photo here in a moment <laughs> of me and Arnold. Now, I had been to this restaurant a few times. But every time I went there to eat, I never one time had to use the restroom while I was in there. I was always in and out and did my business later, I guess you could call it. <laughs> anyway, for the first time ever, I, I was in Bahi Kubo in Bourbon, Illinois. And during my dining experience, I had to get up and use the restroom. Now, not having ever used it before in this establishment, I did not know where it was. Now, this was not a very big building. It was small, and it just seemed like, okay, if you see a door over in the corner, that's got to be the, the restroom facilities. So I got up. I looked around. I saw a door over in the corner. I thought, oh, that's got to be the restroom. Dun, 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 dun. I walked to the door. Dun, 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 dun. I opened the door. Dun, 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 dun. And to my surprise, <laughs> I found something completely unexpected. When I opened the door, not only was it not a restroom, I, I don't know if if Arnold and Arlene were living in this establishment or if they were just had a <laughs> a, a place to, to rest within the establishment. But when I opened the door to, it was a bedroom and it was not unoccupied. Now, Arnold, who had been out cooking the food and stuff for the, you know, the buffet and different things, had currently retired to a different part of the building, unbeknownst to me. It was what I thought was the restroom. <laughs> and it was a bedroom. And Arnold wasn't exactly fully clothed, if you know what I mean. I opened up this door to go to relieve myself, only to find Arnold sitting in the bed in his underwear, watching TV, and he was mad. <laughs> and I suppose rightly so, but I didn't know. I just thought it was a bathroom. So, <laughs> I have to admit, <laughs> as nice as Arnold was known for being, he wasn't nice this day to me. <laughs> it was quite funny, but boy, he was upset. Uh, so anyway, I, I apologize profusely. I went back out. I found the real facilities. <laughs> Used the bathroom in there. They came back out. So uh, I'll pull up a picture here. Uh, 
this picture is actually of uh, me and Arnold. And what's interesting about this photo is behind us, you can see what qualifies as the buffet station. That little station behind it's that little silver station. And yeah, that's me, uh, you know, with Arnold there. <laughs> the guy that I walked in on when he was in his underwear in the bedroom that I didn't know existed. Uh, the bathroom was actually around that corner that you're seeing over to the left of the photo. And uh, the bedroom was on the other side, kind of opposite the uh, cash register. Uh, but I didn't realize that little thing. I did. I don't know. I just, I didn't play it quite right. So what you're seeing there behind us is the buffet that has all the food on it. It's got, it's got quite a, it was a good variety of food. And although it looks small compared to most buffets, it was good and it was plenty to keep you satisfied. And that, I think that's a big rice pot over to the right of it. Uh, one of the favorite things for Lisa and I both on that little buffet there was their egg rolls. Their egg rolls were not your regular size egg rolls. They were the size of a pinky. A matter of fact, in the photo there when I'm going like that to Arnold, I have one of those little pinky egg rolls. You can barely see it, but it's sticking out of my mouth to show you the, the size of those things. And man, it was good. But that's the inside of Baje Kubo. That was during the brief, basically a little over five-year tenure uh, there in the photo. And we liked it a lot. We, we ate there quite a bit. We did go there frequently uh, when we could. And uh, when we found out, uh, we went, I think it was, I took my wife there right around Valentine's Day of uh, 2012. Uh, for Because we wanted to have like a Valentine's meal. I don't think it was on Valentine's Day, but it was near there. Because we thought it might be crowded. So we tend to go to restaurants just before some kind of special event happens. And we found out very shortly after that they closed down. And we were glad we went one last time right before they closed. But I do have video footage of me, your host, the Paul Storian, inside of Baje Kubo. <laughs> As Lisa records me phoning in a refill for my Coke. <laughs> Let's have a look at this, shall we? In this long gone establishment, Baje Kubo. Urbanay, Illinois. Here we go. This one. some video. Hi, could I get another Coke? Coke? Yes. Coke. <laughs> Regular Coke? Regular Coke, yes. <laughs> so that was me using my phone to phone in a refill for Coca-Cola. <laughs> that was Lisa, you could hear laughing because she was recording it. It was pretty funny. The waitress just took it right in stride. <laughs> Like she didn't even realize that I phoned it in. But anyway, that was a good restaurant. We we missed it tremendously after it, it left. And we did eat there quite a few times and it's in a short tenure, tenure there. So uh, we were pleased with it. Now you could see uh, where the phone was, where the uh, cash register and all that was. It was directly on the other side where that room was that I walked into. That wasn't the bathroom. It was the bedroom. Uh, I... I believe that was so long ago now it's I'm not even sure what all was happening but anyway that was the actual uh, interior of the restaurant I remember too that they used to uh, offer this they'd ask you if you like spicy things and sometimes it's kind of scared but sometimes I would try it it was a little powder I asked for a little bowl they'd bring us powder out that you could put in your food and it would be pretty hot but it was tasty so sometimes I would brave it sometimes I wouldn't <laughs> But it was a it was a good eating establishment. Uh, it was nice to have the the Philippine variety of food there in the area, and uh, I'm glad I got a little bit of it on footage. But I'm even more glad, gladder if you will, 
that I got to eat there quite a few times for an all-you-can-eat buffet because I would eat several plates each time I go. Anyway, I was glad to be your host, the Paul Storian, allowing you to have a look around. Baje Kubo from Bourbon A, Illinois, or some people might call it Bourbonus, Illinois. Tomato, tomato type of thing. Anyway, it's time for me, the Paul Storian, after giving you a little bit more upholstery to X out. Goodbye. <laughs>